Hey Aquarius, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again here at Just Be Tarot Aquarius. How you doing? My name is Miss Shelley. So let's see, it's early afternoon. All right, I have to try to get back on schedule when it comes to these um, daily vibration, but we're going to get into that. Maybe some of you are trying to get back into something, get back into a certain um, field, get back organized, um, get back on schedule or something like that. But yeah, this is going to be the daily vibration. Today is December 28th. It is a Wednesday. Okay. The number 10, we're closing out cycles. We're beginning new cycles. And we may be, I don't know why I'm, I'm starting to feel that energy of annoyed. Okay. So we may be annoyed. It's that the slightest noise, the sound of someone's voice. We might be able to find all the things that are wrong in something. We may be a little bit debatable today or over analytical or logical today. Okay. So what I would say is um, give yourself what you need today. Okay. To, you know, if you want to, um, I don't know, whatever it is you do for yourself to make you laugh, smile, you know, spread love to yourself and others, do that. Okay. So today we're going to go ahead and um, do one of these daily vibrations. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Jupiter, you can have Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini significantly in your chart. You may not. Yeah, because I'm getting the visual of a lion. So you could have a Leo around you. You could have a significant Leo placement in your chart. But I'm getting raw. Okay. <laughs> or is that a growl? All right. Um, you can have any of these placements in your chart. You may not. You could be dealing with someone who has these places. You may not. Okay. Um, roles could be reversed with life transpose. All are welcome here. These are not gender specific readings, Aquarius. So use your discernment. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. As always, stand in your truth. All right, and let's get into it. For Aquarius, Holy Spirit, what's the overall energy for Aquarius? Aquarius, Holy Spirit, please. What's the energy for Aquarius? Humility? Oh, no. Okay, so this is the advice to um, have humility because I don't feel this energy at all, okay? But if you do so, I, so I put up a video last night about this. I haven't gotten a lot of, um, a lot of people haven't seen it yet. Maybe, because that's what I'm saying. Maybe people are tired of hearing that Spirit God Source is working things out, you know, and then things still end up the same from their perspective the very next day, okay? Like, um, you know, it's not happening fast enough. But what Spirit is saying, that if you f have humility, that's where you're going to get clarity. You're only going to be able to see when you be sat down, okay? When you are sat down, when you pull it all the way back and just get comfortable in your seat is what I'm getting, all right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Yep, and here's the hermit mode. Rest and rejuvenation. Give yourself what it is that you need today, okay? Don't force yourself. If you, you know, maybe some of you, you decided to go into work a little bit later, or you may have even decided to take the day off, or you may have decided to leave work early because there's this energy of resistance. If we don't give ourselves what we need, if there will be a push-pull, Okay? Because what we resist actually persists, right? So, yeah, acceptance is the name of the name of the game today. Excuse me, Mercury retrograde, guys. Mercury retrograde. All right. So let's get right into it. So some of you, you may feel like you want more rest, or again, you may want to pamper yourself, a mani pedi, okay? Um, or you want to do this in this light. Uh, I just want to get in the tub. I just want to eat. I want to get some rest. Some of you may even be fasting. Okay, this is a time for clarity. So spirit is, it's almost like things are slowing down. Okay, even more, especially since today is the first day of Mercury retrograde. 
we are still in Mars retrograde. Okay, it's a lot going on in the planetary bodies. Holy Spirit, angels and ancestors, clear messages to Aquarius on today. Wednesday, December 28th, halfway through the week. For Aquarius, clear and concise messages for Aquarius. Clear messages. Yeah, balance. Mm -hmm. And the four of swords. Yeah. So this could be a time of really um, meditating upon what it is you want. Talking to your spirit guide. Super important, guys. Okay? Super important. No matter how annoyed we get, no matter how you know, frustrated we get in the process. Um, it is all for our own personal growth and evolution to get exactly what we want. But we got to put in the work, right? And some things we got to do that we don't want to do. Okay, so let's see. On a more practical level, what's happening today for Aquarius? Thank you, Holy Spirit. What do we have? The High Priestess. The Four of Pentacles. Okay. Some of you are being asked um, in, in your subconscious, right? Or in your consciousness, um, you're being asked to look at your money. So some of you may be very um, um, money conscious right now. Okay? It's like now that you're in this quiet contemplation where you don't even want to be, but spirit is putting you there so that you can realize something, okay? It's like, you know that you should take care of your finances. You know you should fill out this documentation. You know that you should check that email. You know that you got to take control of something practical, okay? That's what I'm getting. And if you don't know, now you know. Mm -hmm. Because it's like... Something that um, you've been slow to get around to. So some of you, this is all about that decluttering and taking time out so that you can clear up space so that you can have a breakthrough with the Knight of Pentacles. Because you want to take control of certain um, things. Like, let's say you have a low balance for, for some reason in your bank account. I mean, this is, you know, Christmas season. We tend to overdo, Okay. And not only Aquarius is, everybody does, all right? Especially if you have Capricorn, I'm getting Virgo significantly in your chart or something like that. Taurus is here too, okay? So you may um, be like, oh man, I don't even want to look. I know I don't, <laughs> right? But in order to have a breakthrough, you got to look at it. You can't put your head in the sand. So it's something about that. Being still in your dream space, you're going to receive some type of message coming in from your spirit guides, which is literally going to give you clarity. Now, let's say you're looking for a job or you're looking for some extra funds or you're looking for whatever it is, information, okay? Literally asking your guides and um, having this humility about yourself, somebody is going to help you. Perhaps a message will come through that will provide this breakthrough for you. Perhaps this is like a long overdue check that is coming in the mail. Okay. I thought this was the Knight of Pentacles because I have my, I don't have my glasses on, but this is actually the King of Pentacles. So there's some type of Midas touch here. Like I said, you're going to have a breakthrough regardless of who this is. I'm an intuitive reader. You're going to have a breakthrough. All right. But it comes with humility. It comes with resting your mind. Okay. Resting, um, um, chilling out, giving yourself what you need, whatever it is to bring yourself high vibrational energy. Okay. But being still is going to get you the clarity that you need. That's what it, that's what they say. Okay. So if you needed some type of information about, you know, an agency to go to or um, documents to fill out or something like that, you're being led today. Um, but you just have to kind of get out of your own way and get out of that funk and kind of just rest yourself, calm yourself, give yourself whatever it is that you need, rest and rejuvenation, whatever you use to, you know, revitalize your energy. Okay. Because I am kind of getting that, man, listen, I'm tired of hearing this and hearing that, but just when 
you're ready to give up, spirit is coming through to give you some information. And it's like, it's just coming to you. So it could be in your dream space. It could be in your subconscious when you got up this morning, something niggling you in the back of your mind, like, whoa, I need to do this. Maybe that I could do this. Well, somebody is bringing that information to you. Some of you, this is definitely about a job and money, especially with the King of Pentacles there. You could literally have a check in the mail, like a paper check, as opposed to the app. For some of you, it's the app, okay? It's something like that going on. What else do we have? Yeah, the Page of Swords. That's your energy. Um, I mean, it's Gemini for me, but look, the sword is down. It's calming one's, oneself down and actually doing some research or discovering something. Discovering some knowledge. High Priestess. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is literally doing the work. <laughs> so basically everything that I said before I started laying the cards down is exactly what is coming up here. Okay. I'm getting 12, 12. I'm getting 4, 4, 4. Okay. So yeah, that's what I see so far. It's like doing the work, doing the research. Okay. Once you receive the information, you know what it is you have to do. Don't hide your head under the sand, do the work, do whatever it is, do the cleanup, do the repairs. Yeah. Some of you, this may be credit repair or debt um, repair, or maybe you need to contact someone and make an arrangement regarding payments or money, something like that. There is a way out here is what I see. What else? The nine of swords. The nine of swords. So yeah, there goes that stress again. Why is the nine of swords here? As a matter of fact, not why the Nine of Swords is here. Uh-uh, I don't want that. So I kind of feel the energy that, um, damn, I wish I didn't spend so much. Or damn, why can't I get something to help me out right now? Like, right now. I need something to help me out right this minute. I need information. I need a contact. I need, there's something that you need right now. What you, is what you feel because I feel like um, there's an energy here. If I if I could have would have shoulda. If I had known then what I know now, I wouldn't be in this financial. Because this is what I see. The stress is coming under the um, King of Pentacles. So I always say this is the undercurrent. This is what needs to happen so that this can happen. Okay. So instead of waiting to get to this um, energy here of stressing, I also feel that this could be you having a dream. Nine of Swords, you could be having a dream about money. Yeah, so Spirit God Source is doing what Spirit God Source does. Your guides are doing what they do for you. They're actually giving you an idea, giving, letting you use that analytical tool that you have um, that's naturally yours so that you can speak to some people. Gemini energy, you may be trying to speak to people, take things off of your list, okay? Whatever has been in your subconscious, maybe you're trying to get things done before a deadline like New Year's. And then we have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, spirituality. That's my spirituality card. But it's also about dreams and goals and um, being a bit fantastical. What do you, how do you call it? Like fantasizing or wishy or dreamy, okay, about whatever this is you want to happen. Yeah, and then the King of Cups. There's an energy here that it is okay to want. It is okay to dream. It is okay to, you know, lay down with the rest card. And have these beautiful dreams about tomorrow, today, or whatever you're dreaming about. But it's another thing to actually take action with the King of Cups. That's what I'm getting. Okay? It's another thing to take action, to have um, a reality, a, a mature way of seeing things. Right? The King of Cups is love. First of all, loving on yourself, giving yourself what you need, whatever that is, so that you feel good. Okay? Okay? But the King of Cups is also about mind and heart being balanced, okay? Being emotionally balanced here. So, of course, this is what I'm getting for you. But as I clarify the cards, of course, there will be other messages coming through, okay? I already see there's something about um, maybe someone asking you out on a date or something like that. Something about a water sign, okay? So, let's see. Why is the high priestess here for Aquarius? Wow, the king of cups. 
Okay, so your subconscious is telling you to do what it is that you need to do because you feel like you're in a um you're you feel you're being um asked to be emotionally mature about whatever is going on in your life. With the King of Cups sitting in the middle of the ocean, okay, the ocean is not calm and steady. It's rumbling, okay? There's is rumbling waters here. All right. And someone is, like I said, um, how I feel about the King of Cups is underneath it all, there's stuff going on, but they don't tell people. They don't really express it. They try to handle it in a mature way. But subconsciously, spirit is giving you information on how to handle whatever is going on in your, you know, in your world. OK, whatever it is that could be beginning to make you feel imbalanced. What is the King of Cups thinking about? What is the King of Cups thinking about? Because this is Scorpio energy. This is somebody who um, does a lot of thinking, a lot of searching, especially soul searching, especially with the um, high priestess here. But they don't tell anybody about it. This is what's going on within. Okay? Yeah. About money. <laughs> okay? About money. Maybe you're waiting on a check. Maybe you um, are taken from Peter to pay Paul. Maybe you are wanting some type of help, okay? Or you've overdid it giving out these um this these gifts and things like that. All right, you may have overdid it on your credit card or you overdid it on your um in your bank account, okay? You may be looking for receipts. Okay, you may be returning some stuff, I don't know. For some of you, um, you're, you're contacting maybe customer service or something like that regarding um, gifts that came and they weren't accurate or um, shipment that hasn't come through yet. Okay. But this is definitely about um, money. Okay. Some of you, you may have overspent is what I see. Okay. Um, Aquarius, let's see. Four of Pentacles, why is it here? I feel that you need um, um, balance, okay? I feel like somebody may be giving you a gift as well. Let's see, what's this? Yeah, you're um, like I said, you may be getting you may be looking at receipts, you may be returning gifts, or you're you know using your gift card. Maybe that's what you're doing. All right, but I feel like you're trying to get proof. Or information. Um, and this is regarding your money. So for some of you, you're sending out your resumes. For some of you, I feel that you're sending out your resumes and you may be getting, um, you may be only getting a small amount of, of, of responses, but it's going to pick up. Okay. It is. Okay. Yeah. Four of Wands is stability. It's your home. Okay. So with the Six of Cups here, um, you may be thinking about going back to something that you used to do. So I feel for some of you, you may be researching past um, something you used to love to do. So I feel that your spirit guides, yeah, because the King of Cups is love also. Your spirit guides or your um, your higher self is trying to show you what you could do um, creatively to get more money. Some of you, you're, business, you're creating a business plan. You're trying to start some type of home business or you have already started your home business, but you want more. You want more out of it? I feel like you will. You will get more out of it with the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles talks about seeing the big picture. The King of Pentacles is workaholic energy. Yeah, so some of you, you may feel like you're working, 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 and you're not getting what you want out of it. Um, you're manifesting more. 11-11 is here. But I feel spirit is going to give you um, 
some support. Six six is here. So some of you, you you're you're you have to be still so that you can get clarity here. That's also what I'm saying. Yeah, see? The Ace of Pentacles is coming in. Some of you, you're literally um some type of application or it could be an application for a business plan. It could be an application for a loan. It could be an application for a job. It could be um, an application that a, a notification that you put out that you wanted an assistant or something like that. You're getting a big, huge response. Okay. With the eight of pentacles here, this is about work. With the ace of pentacles, that's nine pentacles, which talks about contentment and um, you know fruitfulness when it comes to the practical things in life. So for some of you, you are going to receive a job, a new job, a new proposal. Yeah, because the page of swords is here. You went online and did some type of um, application. For some of you, that's what this is. It's a new job. Okay, we have the six, seven, eight, eight pentacles twice. So eight, eight is here. Okay, so manifestation again. All right. So what are you worried about then? Oh, okay. Basically, what I'm getting here, Aquarius, is that um, you're going to be talking to someone, okay? Maybe a Aries, maybe a, a CEO, or this could all be you. The thing is, I feel like um, you're going to have to boss up and take care of all the little things because you have a lot of different opportunities coming up for you. And it's going to stress you out if you don't have things in order. It's like the new year is coming quick. Everything is um, happening behind the scenes. Although you don't see it, you don't feel it. It is happening behind the scenes. And if you take care of yourself now, rest, rejuvenate, you know, uh, take care of yourself, give yourself whatever it is that you need, there's going to be this clear sight. You're going to be able to consciously be aware about the things that you need to do and in the order you need to do them. Some of you have been putting in massive um, applications for this, that, or the other. Something is coming through, and it's huge. Here you are, happy, okay? And with it right next to this um, four of wands, for some of you, you're um, trying to gain knowledge, gain um, a huge credit score, um, more money so that you can purchase your dream home or something like that. You've been visualizing it. You've been creating a vision board and it's going to be able to come up for you within on this path. Okay. You're on the path here. All right. So your hard work and your hard work and dedication has not been in vain Aquarius, because I feel like some of you have this attitude that damn, I've been doing all of this shit. I've been thinking I've been really, you know, working hard on my craft, working hard on creativity, working hard to change situations and it hasn't been working out. I haven't heard back from anyone regarding second interviews or first interviews. Like it feels as though someone feels that they put in a lot and they get little back in return. But with the sixes here, you definitely have support. Um, somebody is very, I'm getting the energy that somebody is very cranky with the um, emperor and the nine of swords. This is a very cranky person. especially with the uh, King of Swords coming out right after it. That's why I separated them because this is a very cranky person here. Yeah. You may feel as though you're dealing with somebody who is cranky like that. Remember in the beginning, I said, I, I feel like, Rrr. so I feel like any little thing could kind of tick you off because you're just in that kind of energy or this is someone else's energy. Roles can be reversed, but flop transposed. But by the end of the day, I do feel that maybe you get a chance to speak with someone who is more um, in that water energy, who can help, um, who can help, um, like they have, they have an understanding. You can talk with them. Okay. They're very intellectual. They're very mature. You could talk to them. You can vent with them or you can, um, you know, you could brainstorm with them. I also feel the energy here that if some of you have 
If someone you have had someone in the past, a soulmate, a past mate, whoever this is, long time ago or just the other day, okay, that um, I feel like somebody wants to make it work. They may have been um, in the past offering you this and that, but with the page of swords, it sounded good, but it didn't really it didn't really happen. Maybe they were distracted with work. Maybe maybe they were always at work. Aries energy. Okay, always going, doing this, this, that, that, chasing the buck. I feel like whether you know it or not, they want to give to you. They may even want to come by and give you a gift or something. They want to exchange energy with you. I feel that they want to take control back. I feel they want to prove to you that, um, you know, they're available now. Okay. They could be a cancer water sign, um, a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. That's what I get for some of you also. Yeah. You left this person? Oh, oh, wow. Shish. All of these cards say reject, 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 return to sender, return, return to sender, return, return to sender. So some of you, you're really returning gifts or you're you're cashing some things in or it's almost like um, whoever journey came late and didn't um, bring, you know, they ass over to your house to get your, their gift or somebody may be doing this to you. They're taking it back. <laughs> okay. Gift receipts and all. But um, yeah, five of pentacles. Eight of Cups, Six of Swords, Seven of Swords, Four of Cups. So both people were um, fine with leaving this alone. But um, yeah, somebody was like, oh, I'm double blocking you. Okay. Even if you cru cruise by my cruise by me, I'm still going to walk on by, walk, walk on by. But after all of this, look. The Ace of Cups, that same High Priestess. The Three of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. So with the Ten of Wands, somebody was always chasing a dollar. Somebody was always talking about they were at work, but they had the tendency. There was something about them that made them you feel or vice versa. Roles could be reversed for a flop chance pose. Somebody had a lot um like. I don't know, maybe a third party situation that they were keeping secret and they were really rejecting you, but acting as though, I don't know, something like that is what I feel because after that comes, you know what? Fuck that. I don't want it anymore. I'm not even interested. I really don't even care. How about that? Mm -hmm. Water sign. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and then someone blocks someone. And like I said, even if they seen them walking down the street, cruising by in the street, um, whatever, it's like, keep walking because I'm not interested. Keep on walking. I ain't talking to you. That's the energy I'm feeling. Wow. Okay. So maybe some. that's why I was getting that energy. Maybe somebody's annoyed because somebody is coming back around. I'm like, what? What are you talking about here? We ain't doing that. Okay. But I feel like somebody is going to want to prove something to you, Aquarius. You might be pleasantly surprised. Yeah. See? Bitter and resentful, but it came out in reverse. <laughs> I told you. Mm -hmm. A Taurus, um, sun, moon rising. But it doesn't have to be. But we do have Taurus energy on here. And it says, I'm coming to claim you. It was also in the reverse. And then we have success. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. So um, success is about that money that may be coming in the mail that I was talking about. Okay. Something like that. Okay, or just when you're ready to give up, something is coming through, something's coming down the pike.